Hey guys, today I want to show you the quickest way that we can make our Webflow sites SEO friendly. Here we go. Now today I'm going to show you a new Webflow plugin called Semflow. Okay, they're not sponsoring this video. I just really liked what they built and I've been using it for the last few weeks and I wanted to show you guys because I think it might really help you guys out when you're building your websites. So at a very high level, Semflow is an SEO tool that we can download right into our Webflow designer to give us an SEO checklist that we should get through to make sure that our sites are as SEO friendly as possible. So in this video, I want to show you how we can actually install and download this plugin to our Webflow designer. It's a little tricky, so I'll show you how to do it. Secondly, I want to show you how we can use this plugin to optimize our sites for SEO and make our sites SEO friendly. I think it's very, very helpful. And then at the very end of the video, I'll kind of walk through some areas that I think Semflow could improve to take their product to the next level. All right, so here we go. Okay, so in order to install Semflow right into our Webflow projects, we're going to sign up here. And then once we put in our card details, we brought to this dashboard page right here. So we just want to go download the Semflow Chrome extension from the Chrome extension store, or the Chrome web store. So we'll hit add extension. All right. And then it'll, it'll just pop right up here with our Chrome extensions. All right. And I'll just pin that one up here like this. Perfect. And then once I do that, I'll come into Webflow. I'll hit the extension that we just pinned. I'll log in and then I'll hit continue. And now I'm logged right on in just like that. We'll give it a few seconds and then I'll just come up here and hit refresh. And boom, our Semflow extension, our Semflow plugin is loaded right here into Webflow. Now that we have it installed inside of Webflow, how do we use this thing? What does this thing do for us? Well, let's take a look. So I'm going to open up the plugin right here and I'm going to launch Semflow. All right. And right away, it starts scanning my site for all the SEO characteristics that it's programmed to look for. And it's going to give me a site score, a score zero to 100 based on how optimized my site is right now from an SEO perspective. So you can see I just got a 32%. It's not looking great. My site has a long way to go. Now, Semflow at its core is an SEO checklist that we can go through for each page in our website to make sure that we're doing everything we possibly can to optimize our site for SEO so that we can rank higher in Google. So for example, if I come to my episodes page here, we can see that I have a whole checklist of things that I, that I need to do to make sure that this page is ready to go. So for example, if I click on page keyword is set, you can see that I need to give this page an SEO keyword. And it'll give me a quick little tip down here, which I really like. It'll say this keyword or keyword phrase should be the main idea of the page. So this is a website I built for a podcast. And this is the page of the website that all my episodes will be listed on. So maybe I'll type in something like, I don't know, podcast episode list or something like that. And I'll hit save. All right. You can see now that I get a new score. I just went up 2%. So that's looking good. And now my page keyword is set and I can go through the list here. Page title is already set. I come down here. Page title contains keyword. This one is saying that the keyword we just set up here for a page should be contained in one of the page titles on this page. So if I go to my episodes page right here and I pull up my settings, I go down to my title tag and maybe I need to update this to a uh, podcast episode list because that's the tag that I just gave my page back in the first step. So I'll hit save. I'll publish this. And then when I come back to my Semflow plugin and I rerun my audit, we'll see if this now checks to green because now our page keyword is in alignment with the title tag on that page, which will help SEO wise. So I'll hit rerun audit and we'll see what happens. So perfect. Now my page title contains my keyword and we're looking good. So the idea here is we work our way all the way down this list and you can see there's a bunch of different things, things that I never knew to do, but is now easily distilled down into a checklist right in front of me that I can just work through very simply. So that is how Semflow works. Here's what I really love about this. For people just getting into SEO like me and you, who maybe are reading a bunch of articles or books about how to go about this the best way, there's a lot of information out there. My favorite thing about Semflow is that it distills all of that noise, all of that information down into this actionable, simple checklist. So all of those things that we've learned, all those things that we're reading online are now crystallized into a page right in front of us. And that to me helps me understand everything I'm learning 
even better. So I love that about Semflow. The second thing I love about Semflow is that it's super accessible and easy to use from right here inside of Webflow. I don't have like a little paper checklist off to the side on my desk or something that I'm like manually going through. This is all automated right in front of me inside of the designer. So if I'm just working along building out pages like this, and I don't know, I'm trying to decide what to call this header to right here, what should I call it? Well, maybe I could even go into Semflow and say, well, should I align this with my page keyword? Should I do something different wording wise to help boost my SEO in Google? And the answer is yes. So you really get this nice interplay, this nice relationship between building sites that are beautiful and that look good and are clean for our clients, but that also are functional and help our clients and our websites rank higher in Google faster so that we have more of an impact on the world. I love that duality and how Semflow is able to bring both of those ideas together right here from inside the designer. The third thing I really love about Semflow is how cheap it is for the amount of value that we're getting. Semflow is $15 a month right now and the amount of impact that this can have on our sites or on our client sites, I think it's well worth it. Instead of having to go pay an hourly rate for an SEO expert to set all this up for you at probably hundreds and hundreds of dollars an hour, you can do a lot of this right here from inside of Webflow for 15 bucks a month by going through these checklists on all of your pages. Okay, now a couple of things I would love to see Semflow implement on the next version of their plugin. All right, firstly, similar to how I can like input a keyword here and save it from right here in this plugin field, I would love to be able to do that for every step of this checklist. So for example, page title, instead of having to like X out here and go to my page settings, and scroll down to page title. You know, I would like to be able to just type this in right here and hit save, just like I could for the keyword. I would love to be able to do that right here and hit save. I think that would be awesome. And then two, I think it would be really, really awesome if Semflow could build in a way to create an AI generated response to some of these. So for example, for this meta description length one, if I don't have a meta description set for this page, I would love for there to be an AI button here that I just hit generate and it scans maybe my keyword or maybe some data on my page and writes me a meta description based on all the fields on my page. I'm not sure how hard it would be to implement, but I know with where the world is going with AI, this just seems to be a natural next step for Semflow. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you're an SEO beginner in Webflow, I highly recommend paying $15 a month and trying Semflow out, trying to get your websites optimized for SEO in the easiest way possible by just going through a visual checklist right from inside the Webflow designer. If you guys like this video, go down and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. That would be awesome. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.